Hi Scorpio, it's out. <clears throat> I hope everybody is doing well. Before we get into it, guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you'd like to be notified every time I do post a new video. Like, comment, share, show your love and support. As always, please keep it positive. Excuse me, if you'd like a personal reading. Oh God, I apologize. I just tried to, I've been doing some personals and readings and I just made some eggplant parmesan and just literally like woofed it down so I'm burping it up I apologize <laughs> I apologize guys <clears throat> it was delicious though so um if you'd like a personal that information is in the description box below how to make a payment uh I do accept Menmo and Cash App um and my email address is also in the description box below please send me an email um and with your question excuse me for the reading send a payment then send your email also if you'd like to make a donation these are free readings um any donation is appreciated to anybody that has donated i love and appreciate you guys so so much again that information venmo and cash up is in the description box below let's go ahead and jump into it because as i'm talking here i'm just getting kind of a little spaced out or something so i feel like that means it's go time right so let's go let's go scorpio spirit guides angels ancestors please help me provide scorpio sun moon rising with any messages you would like for them to receive also protect us with your white light protection archangel michael please block any negative energy being sent our way send it back into the universe and to nothingness amen what messages do we have for scorpio all right, we're going to pull a spread and some oracle cards and get into it. What messages do we have for Scorpio today? All right, Scorpio. current energy Scorpio we have someone um, in the recent past who has put in time and effort in something now for some of you with the Pentacles seven of Pentacles it could represent um, you've practiced having a lot of patience in a situation this is recent past energy um, but there's been a failure you're admitting failure or it just feels like a failure something in this energy connected to this energy feels like a fail whatever this might be Scorpio I don't know but it's um coming out in your energy is, is feeling like um, something failed here. And with the Pentacles, it does kind of feel like financial energy in my, my honest opinion. Um, so it could be a situation with a job or something that hasn't been working out here. Um, where you've put in time and effort here, um, where you've committed yourself here, because this is planting the seeds somewhere. This is taking time, having patience, okay? Um, current energy, you're really trying to trust your intuition here to lead you towards success. So uh, maybe in the past, you weren't really listening to some intuitive nudges that you were getting in regards to this situation. Um, current present energy, I like that you are using your intuition here or just whatever you're feeling like, hey, you know, um, and I've shared it before in readings. Uh, you know, you get like this thought, right? This one thought that is like, Here's my example, okay? Back during COVID, I went through a period of time where, you know, a lot of us went through some serious struggles, right? And so I, many of you guys know, I've shared it on this channel before, I'm a hairdresser. Um, I, um, at the time, was working as a hairdresser and so our hairstylist, Barber, and, you know, we couldn't work anymore, right? So. I went through a period of time where I was on unemployment, unemployment or whatever, and you know, but I was homeschooling my daughter and I just had some financial challenges, right? Um, it wasn't, you know, a ton of money. And so um, I remember one day thinking, you know, for some reason I kept thinking I need to pay my power bill. And I didn't need to pay my power bill, but for some reason I was thinking, call, call Duke Power. Something was telling me call Duke Power. 
And so I called Duke Power and I was telling, I was gonna make like whatever it was at the time you could, or I think you can still do it even now, but like make a payment arrangement or something like that. And she was like, well, you don't need to, but she was talking to me about, cause I explained to her that I was having some difficulties and that I had to spend the money that I did have and making sure my rent was paid and I was gonna get behind and blah, 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 blah. Anyway, she said, you know, there is like uh, assistance now for rent and if you you fill out this application she gave me the link and connected me to i guess whatever foundation there was that was helping at the time now had i not randomly did that like that ended up like it ended up getting progressively worse for me for a few months until i found other work that i could do from home um we things were really tight and it got to the point where it was like either eat or pay your rent right and so i know i'm not the only person that went through that um and so we had to eat um had i not made that phone call i wouldn't have known that you could i, I mean you know and applied at that point in time i wouldn't have gotten the assistance that i needed in order to stay where we were living okay so anyway Moral of the story is that high priestess energy, those intuitive nudges, those thoughts, those spirit telling you do something or just for some reason, like hearing, you know, um, a name or whatever it might be in your own personal story or life, Scorpio, hearing something like getting an intuitive nudge, uh, is going to lead you to success here in a few in the future so getting the idea you know um to move in a direction and going with it okay in the future we've got the daughter of wands energy which is the energy of taking bold action so we've got the energy of trusting your intuition to move towards success taking action right um and this is a feminine energy for some of you <clears throat> Um, if you're musically inclined here, cause she's playing the flute, <laughs> maybe you play the flute. I don't know, but there's the energy here of, you know, there could be some kind of direction that you might actually be moving, taking bold action. If you do something within, you know, um, that has to do with music or performing, um, Straight up, for some of you, this is the shift that is happening because it's not in alignment with your purpose. This is not working out. There's a change here. And a lot of you, for a lot of you, this is a career change. There is something here financially that there's a change. This didn't work out because, okay? For some of you with this energy in the high priestess, some of you, this recent, like, whatever this was, disappointment, failure, whatever happened here financially, in this high priestess energy currently, you're kind of okay with it because you intuitively knew already it wasn't where you were supposed to be. There was something about possibly this environment that was low vibrational or made you feel bad or just, you know, you weren't getting what you needed. You weren't being fulfilled. But again, with the seven of pentacles, there's that energy of not wanting to leave a comfort zone. Um, you know, I've put in time and effort here already. Okay, so, um, the pattern of uh, or set of life lessons right now that is moving through your life, we have the six of wands. So this basically is all a setup right now to help guide you in making moves to be successful, Scorpio, with the six of wands. This is all about making moves to become successful, to be successful, right? In which direction do I, this is spirit, <clears throat> It's almost like, okay, Scorpio, I want you to learn how to trust your intuition in regards to gaining success and moving forward. And, and it doesn't have to be just in love, right? Just abundance, right? Uh, with work, with anything. Um, the challenges that you've conquered um, or the lessons that you've just completed here with the Daughter of Stones, this is the energy of growth. Like for a lot of you... Um, Scorpios are loyal to a fault, right? I mean, we're so, especially if we put in time and effort, okay, to a job, to a person, to whatever it is, if we put that time and effort in, that loyalty, that energy, you know, it's like we stay until the expiration date is way expired. Um, 
So I feel like Scorpio, the challenge that you've basically conquered here is learning now when it's time to go. When it's time to go, accepting that you gotta step out of your comfort zone in order to get success here in whatever direction that you're going here in life. Um, What's working for you right now? We've got the Ace of Pentacles, which is beautiful energy. I love it, Scorpio. Um, the Ace of Pentacles showing up in the energy of what's working for you is amazing to me. This is the divine saying, look, I wanted you to leave this place, this job, this situation, whatever it was a long time ago, because I had this ready for you. Scorpio, you were just too stubborn to fucking move, <laughs> right? Like I had this blessing for you, but you were too stubborn to move, right? So with the Ace of Pentacles, this is working for you. This is divine saying, I'm coming in with this. You've had the courage to make this change, Scorpio. This is the divine blessing you are receiving. Now, um, for some of you, we have what's working possibly against you coming forward or moving forward. We have the energy of <clears throat> you You might hit some challenges here with, because this is the, the uh, Queen of Pentacles. So for some of you, if this is something here where you're, say, like a single mother or because um, this also represents the Queen of Pentacles to me can represent like the ultimate working parent, right? You do everything. Um, this is oftentimes kind of like wifey, right? Or wife material, but this is basically also representation to me of that ultimate working parent, right? Sometimes you got more than one job. You're doing what it takes to get the kids fed or the rent paid, whatever it is that you basically, you got to live Scorpio, you're making it happen and you know, it's on you here. Okay. So with this energy, this could also work against you here. Be careful. Don't burn yourself out. I feel like it's what spirit is saying and save and prepare for, um, I'm getting like the message of saving and preparing for what you might need to do, whether it's hiring, you know, a nanny, if you can't leave and pick up your kid from school or doing something along those lines, Scorpio, to make this transition easier because, um, I'm looking at these cards. We've got the Eight of Swords, Empress Energy, which is basically a mother. For some of you, I'm, I'm speaking to mothers here. Some of you, like, I'm feeling single mother energy, you know, and then the Seven of Swords. If it's not single mother, it could be single father. Be careful about... Um, interfering energies in whatever shape or form basically is the message that I'm getting because this is a blessing. This is something you do not want to fuck up. Okay. For some of you, this is that, that job, that new, it's like, you know, the, the energy has shifted and it's time, you know, there's a new job or, um, something that's actually, you know, coming into your life and your energy that is something that, you know, you've wanted for a long period of time, whether it's, you know, a job with um, great insurance or quite a significant pay raise, whatever it is, Scorpio, this is what you've been asking spirit for. This is something that being in a higher vibration now, your new um, higher self activation is actually leading you towards, okay? And so the message that I'm also getting is just be careful to not overextend yourself here. Be careful to prepare. Be careful to um, be careful about outside interfering energies, whatever that might be. I did see the Ace of Wands. Be careful about, you know, caring too much about some kind of sexual energy or something like that. You know, getting your head all fucked up. If there's a third party situation that you end up involved with, just be careful that you don't get sidetracked is what I'm hearing. Okay. Here, because, um, this is a blessing. This is a blessing. Okay. Um, what other messages do we have in regards to this reading for Scorpio? Okay. 
So we've got the Hayman and the Lovers energy showing up here in the reading. I'm going to put these cards up here for now. So we've kind of got a separate message now coming in. What other message do we have for Scorpio in regards to this reading? Scorpio, if there has recently been a tower situation here, we've got tower energy, Aries Leo Sagittarius, and then the hangman with the lovers. Somebody looking at a situation here, getting a different perspective. Um, if somebody was trying to dominate a situation or have a certain level of power or control that blew up, whatever happened, happened, didn't work here. You or your person. Um... We have somebody trying to gain a different perspective here. What is this lover's energy showing up for Scorpio? I feel like eight of cups. What else? Four of wands. Somebody's getting a different perspective here. I feel like there's in the recent past here, it kind of feels like recent past energy. Or this could be current energy. We've had something happen. Shit hit the fan, right? We've got the tower. I like how the tower looks like. Yeah, that's, that's fucked and crazy. I can't tell what this looks like. I can't tell if that's a building. I don't necessarily feel like that looks like a building, but whatever, right? I mean... <clears throat> It looks like it's blowing up. All right, whatever happened, um, basically should have hit the fan in a situation. Things blew up. Things didn't work out. And uh, somebody was trying to gain or had a level of control and it didn't work out in a situation. Upper hand, whatever. Whatever, whatever you want to call it here, Scorpio. Um, there's the energy of somebody walking away, somebody getting a different perspective here in a situation. There's mutual love and desire here. Um, there's the energy of four of wands, which could be representation of twin flame energy. Um, for some of you, if you're experiencing some type of a twin flame connection here um, with this, okay, that could be why we're getting this message because we had, you know, um, what could be working against you coming into the next, you know, few weeks here? Be careful if you've been dealing with a situation where there's interference or you're having problems or there's been third party energy. Third party energy does not have to be a person. It can be anything. It could be anything and interfering with a connection, right? So if there's been some sort of an issue here with a connection for you, I feel like Spirit is saying really focus on this blessing here, Um I'm not getting that you shouldn't focus on this. We're going to elaborate a little bit more, but this is a big deal. Okay. This is important. This is something that you need. And I feel like for a lot of you, because you are parents here, the energy for some of you that are parents, this is why it's important, why it's a big deal, why it's necessary for you to stay focused up here. Okay. Um, number one, right? That's always number one. Financial stability is your number one, especially if you're a single parent, right? Um, for some of you, I'm speaking to masculine's energy because I just saw that the, the uh, queen or the king of swords, so single fathers. Um, For some of you that are my single fathers, this is like in a really important energy for you for financial stability um, because it'll allow you the freedom to be this ultimate working parent. And for some of you, if, it, if you have to be in custody court or whatever it is here to have like equal rights or certain things like that, this is, this is important, right? This is a blessing. You're being blessed with what you deserve here. All right, so we've got communication coming in, star card energy, Aquarius energy, Aries Leo Sagittarius, but feeling hopeful, feeling like a prayer is being answered here. So why do we have this energy coming in? Now, for some of you, there's a situation that blew up, okay? Something 
somebody decided I'm walking away um, and it made someone's perception shift here. Um, now we've got the Four of Wands and then the Lover's card and Mutual Desire. Um, the Four of Wands can also represent taking something to another level of... Sorry. I'm like, I know I turned the oven off. I don't know what that noise was. Another level or the next level of commitment. We've got the Nine of Pentacles, which means it kind of suggests a situation that is involving an arrival or a departure. So we're talking about a departure in some way, shape, or form. Um, somebody has been dealing with leaving a type of, you know, job, right? And getting a better one. So this kind of, there's needing to have patience in a situation here either with you or your person here showing up because this is a shift that you're going through or someone's going through. Um, hmm. Why do we have the Knight of Pentacles and the Death card in reverse? All right, we've got Scorpio, Virgo, and Aquarius energy. Um, Scorpio, some of you have been struggling with refusing to let something go or refusing, like just kind of going through like a bit of a depression here, whatever happened, somebody's kind of recently been through depressive energy. Um, so this is you, Scorpio. You're really emotional here about walking away or wanting to walk away from something here where you felt powerless. And we've got soulmate energy, twin flame energy, a mutual desire with the lovers in the full card, Aquarius energy, Gemini, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Virgo, Scorpio. representation of starting over a new beginning here okay so there is a new beginning here on the table for some of you if things have gone sour in a situation the opportunity to start over um there is you know what's crazy it kind of feels you know how sometimes somebody has to walk away or you know Distance makes the heart grow fonder is what I just heard, right? So we had somebody walking away or some distance or level of distance here that kind of woke. It looks like a mutual energy up, right? Because we do have the lovers, right? So it could have woke both of you up in this situation. Now there's the energy here of starting over and the four of wands. Some of you could be starting over. You could be moving in together if this is the case with the four of wands because that also represents home life, happy home life. Um, and then we've got lovers here. So there could be like talk of moving in together or something of that nature um, with this new beginning and with this new path here, stay focused, right? Um, don't let things with this situation interfere too much or um, if that's not the case, it's just, you know, there's this energy of you know, you've got two important things going on here. This also represents staying balanced, right? So this can be uh, being happy within. You know, this can represent, this is, uh, this represents marriage and tarot. This represents soulmates, twin flame and tarot. This represents uh, happiness, happy home life. This represents mind, body, and soul to me too. Like home, within your home, your body is your home, right? No matter where you go, you're always going to have you. So there has to be this balance within mind, body, and soul. For So for a lot of you with this energy, this could also be here. There's a mutual desire. There's a mutual not wanting to separate here after something has happened, wanting to start over, but needing to stay balanced here because you do have some other things that are real, that are blessings, right? That you don't want to miss these opportunities either because you're too wrapped up in something else, all right? So what other messages do we have here in regards to this reading for Scorpio? Success in all endeavors is ensured. I love it, Scorpio. So in the, in the energy of a, is this a yes or no? We've got a yes, so that's good. 
Saturn energy. This is the energy of things working out, um, success being assured. So again, with this energy staying balanced, staying um, focused here, this is whatever you do now will be will prosper career change a move to another place a new relationship recognition rewards acclaim whatever it is it's going to be it's going to work out okay and so this is the end of an old cycle the beginning of a new one it's time to it's a time of supreme self-confidence and knowing that you're going to be successful staying in that energy scorpio um, and really, because the Ace of Pentacles is a blessing. So it's a divine blessing, but it's a new path. Okay. And I feel like, you know, that is what's working for you being in this high vibrational energy, um, with this, um, higher self activation. This is a new path. Um, beautiful energy, soulmate energy. Uh, this is, uh, coming together in a partnership, marriage, or union. Um, this could be the honeymoon stage of a situ or a relationship too. So um, for some of you, this is just the new, it represents a new stage of happiness um, in an existing relationship. So however that's going to resonate with you, this is the new phase or there's a new phase. Um, I love it, Scorpio. I love it. What other messages do we have in regards to this reading for Scorpio? So we do have the energy of recently being disappointed, um, but then wish fulfillment or wishes coming true, okay? Aquarius Pisces energy. So whatever happened, you've recently been disappointed here, Scorpio. And it looks like kind of maybe in more, at maybe you know, more areas of, a, of your life than one. Um, but the nine of cups is basically like getting a wish, right? Wish is coming true. Um, <laughs> like, what is it like winning the lottery and meeting Mr. And Mrs. Right in the same, at the same time, like how could this possibly happen? Well, it's happening. This is a divine blessing. I love this reading for someone. Just keep your head on straight. Trust your intuition, okay? Um, again, because I do feel like both of these, you know, situations are going to require a level of discipline and balance, right? So, but are, but are both very positive and again, a blessed divine your path. So Scorpio, um, good luck to you. I hope this message was helpful for someone. Let's do a few tea leaf really quick before I end the reading. What other messages do we have for Scorpio in regards to this reading spirit? Take care, enemies are working against you. So I feel like that's the life of a Scorpio. You got a bat around you somewhere, so take care. All right, guaranteed success, so, excuse me, with the star. So again, I mean, confirmation, confirmation. Like, things are moving in a really positive direction. Obviously, there's pop. you're going to probably have some haters, right? Especially with this. This is good. This is like, money's looking good. Your relationship's looking good, Scorpio. I feel like whatever's going on here, you're going to have some people that aren't happy about it, right? that is life, right? Um, there's going to be some jealousy here. Now, for some of you, if you are single parents, or it could be baby mama, baby daddy drama, but there is energy of some jealousy. Oh, well, right. You've got guaranteed success showing up here. What other messages do we have for Scorpio? Okay. Teapot. So for some of you, this is deep friendship with someone, and then someone is extremely stubborn, unwilling to change. Um, this is blowing, blowing, getting the smoke off. <laughs> I can't even talk. Uh, what the hell was I trying to say? I actually need to just blow and smoke up somebody's ass. That's not what I was trying to say. Okay, Scorpio. Letting the steam off, right? Or out. This is what I was trying to say. You know, getting it out. Okay, somebody might be frustrating you with you. You might be dealing with somebody who's an ass. Okay, that's coming out because you need to release. You need to talk about it. You need to get it out. Don't allow this person to bring your vibration down right now. Remain balanced. Stay strong. 
All right, what other message do we have here for Scorpio? <laughs> oh, disappointment in a friend or with a friend or a lover with the flute. And then the month of June. Um, so some of you could have a friend that's a Gemini or a lover here that there's a level of disappointment with. Or you're going to have a level of disappointment with. There could be this is what you, somebody's acting like an ass. This is why you're irritated here, Scorpio. Or somebody could be because. This could be somebody's energy, whoever's coming in because things are looking so good for you, Scorpio. You might be dealing with, you know... Um, <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't remember. Oh God, what is her name? She's another tarot reader, but I'm looking at this ass card and then the flute. <sighs> is it Blue Angel Tarot or something like that? She calls people douche flutes. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so yeah, the douche flute. You've got a douche flute in your energy. All right, Scorpio. All right, what other messages do we have in regards to this reading? You know, if, if you're hate, if you've got haters, you're doing something right, right? Um, increase in material wealth or in spiritual growth with the, the goldfish. All right. And then new home, new attitude. I love it, Scorpio. And look with the four of wands, some of you are going to be moving to a new home. All right. I like this. I hope this message was helpful for someone until next time. Lots of love and light. Bye.